rotation changed a little bit last game. A couple fewer plays for you, a little bit more for Brandon. How yeah. did you feel about that? Did you know it was coming? Uh, no, this is Coach Reed. Uh, obviously knew they were going to run the ball a lot, especially when we put an extra lineman in. So guys like Cullen, you know, putting him in and uh, trying to give us a, a tactical advantage. What brought you guys uh, to, you know, stand up? You know, the players only meeting yesterday and, and the veterans talk. It, you know, what brought you guys to do that? Uh, it's, uh, I think our situation would be uh, about the only explanation for that one. And I know you probably don't want to say what was said, but like, was it productive? You know, what, what comes out of something like that? How can that help? Uh, you know, a lot of times it's good for uh, guys to get something off their chest or uh, kind of express how they feel or, you know, what's going on and maybe look at things from a different point of view. What was the message that you took away from that? We got to win. How do you feel about the rotation moving forward? I mean, is it something where you feel like you'll get more on or is it actually sort of like a spot? Well, I mean, it, Brandon? if you uh, look at the situation that we've been in, I mean, we got by all the points. The teams are like, oh, we're just going to run the ball now. No reason for them. They don't drop back anyways for the most part. Uh, open it up, so you know, when they have a lead, they're not going to do that uh, even more. Do you sense this, the fans growing frustration, even if everyone thinks this team's better than the record? Uh, they're definitely, uh, definitely frustrated. You had put out a, a tweet, or at least the, the fan club Twitter uh, handle did, about loyalty, defining what that is, and you know, what is what is your feeling when it comes uh, to the well, fan base? Really, I was speaking to, uh, during the game, there's a good section of fans chanting some some of the most vile things that uh, I've ever heard, not just at a football game, but in, in life in general. Talking about, you know, attacking the coach, you know, talking about people's wives, kids, chanting them. And I just thought that, uh, you know, there's no place uh, for that in the NFL. Um, none whatsoever. I mean, there's just some of the foul things they're saying. And, yeah, I'm going to be protective of, protective of Coach Reed and Coach Wash and my teammates. So it's, uh, it was upsetting that a few, you know, bad apples, you know, were chanting that kind of stuff. But what are you going to do? I think some people say that um, <coughs> your job isn't to listen to the, to the, you know, to what people are saying on the sidelines and kind of pay attention to what's happening. Yeah, absolutely. But <laughs> if I could say just one of the things that they were chanting, yeah. I mean, uh, Way past bad, it's foul. I mean, to the point where you felt like you had to say something. Have you have you done that before in your career? Have you heard? Oh, I've never heard. I mean, listen, I don't even want to repeat what I heard. I mean, it was that bad. And I got a pretty high threshold for you know adult jokes. Mm -hmm. So just to give you an idea of where, where what they were saying. Is that your sense that it's just a kind of faction of the of the fan base, or do you feel like oh, there's absolutely. a? Oh, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Like I said, it's a few bad apples. You know, what? Uh, unfortunately, that's the way it goes sometimes. What were some of the things you saw on the tape when you came in? 